going on? It's NTP Backstage Access. I'm your girl, Marley Massasoit. And I'm your boy, Prestige. Today we got with us... Martin Jackson. Yo, yo. Hi. Shoot, welcome to Backstage Access, yeah. bro. Nice to be here. Hey, what's going on with you? Oh, um... Quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong like. with it. Hey, well, you was showing us um, a little work you did, a comic oh, book. Yeah. Um, yeah. Show us about the, show, us, show us that. The Kill with the Cute Fro. Mm -hmm. It's um, a comic book that I have out, and I'm, the first issue is out. First two issues are out mm -hmm. on the Kindle. Okay. Um, and I'm working on the third issue right now. All right, um, so give us some insight. Who wrote it? I know you probably did most of the writing, but who did the illustration and stuff like that? Me, myself, and that. This dude did the whole thing. Oh, All right, so what's the background on the kid with the cube fro? Uh, story wise? Yeah, just story wise. Um, I guess, what's the background on? Yeah, he's just um, a super genius kid um, who goes on crazy adventures. Crazy stuff happens to him all. Okay. Ain't okay. nothing wrong with that. Yeah. That sounds it's pretty good. much yeah. basic. Okay. Story. Right, so how long you been into the comics? You know, one probably I know as a kid you probably was uh into yeah, as a kid. Kid too as the uh, author illustrator. Yeah. Uh, as a kid, shoot, forever probably probably eight when I was well, as soon as I could read because like my older brother was in comics, mm -hmm. so even before I could read I was just like look at that on the <laughs> yeah. Um. Like when I just like this came out, two thousand eleven. Mm. So that's when I started. Hey, that's awesome! Wow. Maybe a little bit. Wow. You know, wow. So what's inspired some of your work? What's some of the comics that you know are your all-time favorites? Ah, okay. Uh, fav um, let's see. Uh, just Miss Bone. Mm. Uh, Lost Bros and is about Love and Rocket series, mm -hmm. or and their spinoffs and all that. Um, I think all time favorites. I was like, uh, mm -hmm. Milestone line of comics. That was, I don't know if you're, uh, you, you probably Static Shock. Static Shock? The cartoon? Yep. The oh, yeah. comic book that that was based off. It was a, uh, a line partnered with DC. Uh, it was like a multicultural line of superhero characters. Mm -hmm. So I think like Static was on the them and they had like hardware. It was like Mm. That's dope. Okay. Mm. That's sweet. So with Black Panthers just recently oh, coming out. Dope, yeah. You like that? Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. I, was, I was looking for that. Oh. oh yeah. Okay. All right. So now, um, with your comic books, I I know that you draw a lot. Yeah. Quite a bit. So um, you actually did something at NTP Backstage Access. Oh where, yeah. The as uh, you, artist board with yeah. the comedians. Yeah. Yeah. So I did a board, and it had a lot of. Classic comedians, you know, um, from history, everyone from like Robin Williams, mm -hmm. Ruby Goldberg, uh, Eddie Murphy. Mm -hmm. I tried to do as many as I could fit on, on the board. Plus, yeah, and yeah. yeah, also a few upcoming people that you know. That's not awesome. so. And that's not that's not all you do. He just recently. Can you tell us about that award you won? Oh, the um, we we both won. Yeah. The uh. <laughs> <laughs> so on TV, we yeah. have won Editor of the Year yeah. for uh, the editing of the shows that we do. Yeah. Wait, wait, say it again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what that? Uh, well, producers. Oh, producers. Producers. Yeah, producers. Yeah, producers. Yeah. Producers. I can tell yeah. you about the editor. Yeah. But yeah, yeah producer for on TV. on TV, the cable station that we work for in Lake Orion, we won Producers of the Year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what y'all yeah. produce? Uh, all the Maybe. shows for cable. Oh wow! Yeah, all these shows are yeah. That, yeah. So we we got to make sure we bring in those awards. Yeah, I want to see. I didn't that. think about yeah. that. That's that's so, dope. That'll be on part two. Hey, yeah. so uh, you also uh got a niche in comedy. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do yeah. comedy, or I'm a baby comedian just oh. learning to do. I mean, I guess that's her term. Oh. term. <laughs> I'm just starting now, so I'm not. Baby. <laughs> yeah, just like, <laughs> little. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm uh, do stand up. Yes, he does. Yes. And you learn a lot from it, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. So, what do some of your stand up entail? Like, for the people who don't know. Oh. Because I've seen you before. Yeah, yeah, I guess a lot of it's some like political humor, mm -hmm. uh, social commentary. Mm -hmm. Social commentary is the best. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think. Shenanigans. Yeah. 
I mean, I think uh, that's an important part of comedy right. to take look at what's wrong or let's look at society and try to not only make it humorous but make sure you look at it in a way. Right. Um, you know, it's kind of like being the the fool for the king or something. Like you tell the truth in something in a way. <laughs> All right. Well, let, let's let's do this real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna give you just one part of our society, and most people feel like it's a, a prominent, maybe not important, but plays a major role. When I say the word or name Huckleberry, what do you think? Huckleberry. Of Huckleberry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Which one, Sarah or? Uh... We, we, I'm talking about Sarah, but just. Oh. Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do I think of? I don't know. Uh, it's a sticky last name. But <laughs> yeah. I couldn't think of that. Uh, the presidential dinner roast. I think that's one of the first things that popped in my head. He and it, yeah. <laughs> so you ran for president. Oh, kind of. Yeah. You did. <laughs> you did. Oh, yeah, I, did. I ran for president. Okay. I'm upset that. Not enough people voted for me. Um, I'm going. Well, I got you in 2020. <laughs> I'm going to be well, honest. Watch, watch. I might not have uh, experience, but I think I would still be a lot better than Trump. Uh, I think. He got me for you. Could have been a lot better than Trump. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Um, wow. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> All right. Any um, shout outs? Anybody you want to shout out as far as your mentors? Uh, you know, cool. ones that have. Um, Brought you up like your madre or oh you know? yeah, of course my mom. Yeah, Miss um, Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. I am for real. Uh, okay, sorry, I just had to say that. Mentors. Yeah. I don't know. Oh 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> it's been a pleasure to work. With. I'll tell you that. So flexible. So flexible. I love it. Yeah, let's see. I guess I don't know. Um, uh, my mom. Well, growing up, you know, the right books and okay, just to, uh, yeah. Who did you see write a book first like that? Like, that's so amazing to me. Like, I don't think I know anybody that was done a comic book. Did your mother ever write, though? My mom draws. Draws, she yeah. She's, 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 a, a she's an artist. Yeah, she's she, an artist. she makes jewelry. She well. makes jewelry. Yeah. Um, my older brother had a, uh, I remember once had like a poem published. Okay. Book. Okay. But, uh, wow. uh, my family, like, like art wise, um, no, just anybody. Oh, invited. oh, me. Oh, too. I never remember my grandfather. Like oh. he was an artist, but he okay. like died like like a week or two before I was like. Oh, but so, you got those genes. Yeah, or yeah, or yeah. you know, since I'm true, I guess maybe should have died <laughs> kind of you know push a little bit. <laughs> like not, maybe not. Like they meant to push, but like so gosh, but they might have done that. But I mean, to be honest, <laughs> be realistic, <laughs> right? Um. Oh, no. Um, and then he also was into uh, comics as well. For I know, cause like okay. my uncle, he, in fact, he's a guy like my family, I guess, kind of nerd. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> but like, I know he was into comics, and okay. I know. So you talking about like, yeah, so All like right. the entire comic thing, I guess. Um, but he was never a comic book artist. He was just okay. a painter and stuff like that. So any. Is there any particular dream opportunity that you mm. want, whether it be on the comedy side, mm. on the comic side, or even on the social commentary side? Mm. Because, like, believe it or not, that's a big form of entertainment to yeah. me if you watch, like, the Daily Show or yeah. things of that nature. So if there's any out of the lanes that you were in, any opportunity that you would like to, like, just have on a big stage, what would it be? Yeah, on the big stage, like okay. where like you got the opportunity just to present your work, you know, unlimited uh, budget, big audience, just like okay. What would, uh, you, what would you like to? Well, do? There's a few things I can see doing. Um, I wouldn't like mind this becoming big. Like I'm starting. Yeah. I should. Oh, I'm about it. Um, so I wouldn't mind seeing this blowing up, like yeah, and all that. Like be the next change music turtles or something. Yeah. That's awesome. Um. I hope someday I can, comedy-wise, 
Bill my skills and you know actually be like a comedian specials and all that stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. You know, uh, social commentary. Mm. Ah, I didn't th- you know what? It's funny. I, it's still something that I thought about like, a long time ago. I wouldn't mm. mind having like mm. a talk show, mm. but I remember like watch a lot. Of you know, social like political shows they mm-hmm. talk. It's always young people. Always, I just want something calm, and so I want something maybe comedic a little bit. But um, like say, we have like a fact checker. You know, you're yelling your lies. Maybe slime or something flops on you or something. You know, electric. Oh, <laughs> just funny. to keep it nice and honest. Hey, hey, that, that, might, <laughs> that might be cool. That's funny. That might be cool. <laughs> I just put it out. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I like that. I did yeah. that just popped out. I, I mm. thought about it a long time ago. No, nah, that that might be cool. It's yeah. different. Like, yeah. Plus, you know, with all, with all the fake narratives going around exactly. the world. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, I would like to be the honest. We need something. I mean, we can disagree. Yeah. But give it the truth. Yeah, and I want to tell huh. people this. Like, huh. Two different perspectives can exist. Yeah, just, exactly. Just, just because problem. people don't agree, yeah. they don't make your side or my side any less relevant. That's right. That's, that's true. That's like wow. a problem that I've noticed that like the idea that we can't reorient, like you have to be all or nothing. This is everything that's been mm. so polarized, mm. and we can have a disagreement. Yeah, and sometimes even yeah, just realize that. You don't have to, you know, like, yeah, we can agree to disagree. Agree Same. to disagree, yes. Yeah. And like sometimes, even you're talking, you must realize, like sometimes you have the same goal. You just think the way to get to something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Say that, Martin. Say right. that. Yeah. I like that. Okay. But yeah. Wow. Um. So how can we find you? Oh. Um, Social medias. Well, uh, for Graffiti and the Sun, mm-hmm. we're just bringing up that the, the, okay. the company that um, I started and I. We're relaunching it. I should have brought that up. Okay. Um, with uh, I love people. that graffiti on the sun. Yes, and it's being relaunched. That's dope. Uh, like it, like originally it was me, and so now it's going to be relaunched with um, a few other artists. Okay. You know, Devin and just, you know some people. Yeah. But we're relaunching the company. Here. Okay. So I'm doing more Q to Q Fro, and they all each have their own projects that are also coming out. Wow. Um, so you can find graffiti on the sun. On uh, uh, Facebook, just look Graffiti on the Sun. Okay. Do that right now. Um, <laughs> Twitter, it's Graffiti on the Soup. Like it's Sun, but it was Sun was just too long. The entire Graffiti on the Sun was too long, so they dropped the end. Okay. So it's Graffiti on the Sun without the end. Okay. Um, yeah. And it popped right up. Yep. So you can uh, like follow that, like it, please. Um, got it. And I'm, for me personally, yeah. Um, you can find Martin Jackson on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, vote for Martin Jackson on Facebook <laughs> if you would enjoy my thing. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, All right. All right. I would say look for me other, but Martin Jackson's kind of common, so you might find other me's. So, I mean, when you look, you'll see a picture. There are other <laughs> Martin Jackson. <people. laughs> but uh, I don't know. Yeah. 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 Twitter. That's what I use mostly Facebook and Twitter. Okay. Um, Google Pages, Martin <laughs> Jackson. Um, yeah. That works. All right. This has been NTP Backstage Access. Marley Messler. Prestige. Martin Jackson. Behind the camera, we got. Quanada. Hey, we out, y'all.